Our last module. I'm so excited for you all. You've done fantastic if you've made it this far through the course and you really are preparing adequately for your T's exam and I'm so excited for you. Please let me know if you get into nursing school. Let me know about your nursing journey. You can reach out anytime. I'm really here to support you guys. And on a positive note, this is a very short module. So we are ending it with a short module. You guys are almost done. So let's go through these final few slides. So we're gonna talk about coordinate planes. So algebra functions and equations are shown graphically on a coordinate plane, which consists of two number lines placed perpendicular to each other and intersecting at a zero point called the origin. So we kind of covered this in uh, earlier modules, but just to reiterate, this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. It comes together right here at the origin, and this is zero, and so our horizontal line, so if you think, if you're looking out at a beautiful ocean and you're seeing a sunset, it sets on the horizon, right? Because the line goes this way, so that's how you remember the horizon. The x-axis is on the horizon and the positive values are to the right of the origin and the negative values are to the left. A vertical line goes up and down, vertical, that's the y-axis and it has positive values going above the origin and then negative values below the origin. And any point on the plane can be identified by using the coordinates x, y. So any spot on here can be shown through x, y. So if we see this point is x is zero and y is five, because if we're at x, we're at zero, and if we're on this y axis, it's five. If say our point was five, zero, we would know on our x axis we're at five and on the y axis we're at zero, so we're not moving, or maybe it's five comma one, so then we would have our x-axis would be 5, our y-axis would be 1, this would be our point. So now we're going to talk about conversions and scale drawing. So you're going to see things on the ATITs that are like maps or diagrams, and they may have a key for measurements to compare real distances or sizes with a scale or different size. So a proportion is needed to show the map measurements or sizes and real distances or sizes. So for example, if we look over here, this is an example of like different proportional sizes. So for this drawing, this is three centimeters. This car is three centimeters wide in the drawing, but one centimeter equals a meter. So really, if we wanna know how big this car is, we can write a ratio for the car. So one centimeter equals a meter, because that's what our key tells us. But our car width is three centimeters, so we wanna know how many meters. So if we cross multiply, this is gonna be three centimeters per meter. And then we wanna make this three, so it's actually gonna be three down here, right? So it's three meters, the car is actually three meters. Now, if we look at this house, the house on the picture is four centimeters tall, but one centimeter equals three meters. So realistically, this house is actually three times four is 12, it's 12 meters tall in real life. So you will have to remember some of these. So for example, 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard, 5,280 feet in a mile. You need to know that there's 16 ounces in a pound and 2,000 pounds in a ton. That one cup is eight fluid ounces, a pint is two cups, a quart is two pints, a gallon is four quarts. So do you need to memorize all of these? Probably not, but definitely like that one cup is eight fluid ounces, one pound is 16 ounces, you wanna know three feet to a yard, 12 inches in a foot. Now for metrics, I have a trick for you guys, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. So don't even worry about this because I'm gonna show you an easy way to remember this, but definitely try to remember all of these up here and also remember length, so a kilometer is 0 0.62 miles, one meter is 39.7 inches. You probably don't need to know those, but you do want to know 
that a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, that a liter is 33.81 fluid ounces, and one tablespoon is three teaspoons or 15 milliliters. So let's go over how to remember this metric system of measurements because wait till I show you this, it's gonna make it so easy. So here's what you need to remember, unless you can think of a better mnemonic, but this is what I have. So King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So what this stands for is kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, milli. So each one of these changes by 10. So you have your base unit, whatever it is, grams, liters, meters. So say it's meters. So if we have one meter, we have 0 0.1 decimeters. We have 0 0.0 one centimeters and we have 0 0.001 millimeters and then it can go the opposite way right if you have 10 centimeters how many meters so then you have a hundred you have a thousand meters and then same with this way if you have one meter it's 10 decameters a hundred hectometers a thousand kilometers done very easy to memorize so if you can just remember that mnemonic all right, and that is the end of the ATIT 7 math course. I'm so proud of you guys getting to the end of this. Make sure to do those final worksheets and quiz. And if you got through all of this content, you are well prepared for the exam. I have faith in you. You guys got this. And hopefully I talk to you soon. Feel free to email me or message me. All right, bye.